welcome to Pieces of the Past. My name is Deborah. I have a passion for fiber arts and creating new things from old. Join me on my journey as I explore the endless possibilities, the tools, and the techniques to create new pieces of the past. Hi there, welcome. Today I wanted to show you how to make a pattern, a quilt pattern called the Arkansas Crossroads. This pattern came out in uh, the Kansas City Star in 1941. It's been around a long time. Uh, I was making, I'm, I'm actually making this quilt and I'm using my scraps to do it. And uh, while I was making it, while I'm sewing these small squares together, I'm thinking this would be a great way to show somebody who's just learning how to quilt or just learning how to sew in general, uh, how to make something that looks really pretty intricate but it's not it's very very simple to do there's only two pieces to this quilt and you can make it as big or small as you want you can adjust the size of the pieces so it's it's really versatile okay first of all you're going to need squares there's two two squares involved in this um, in this quilt only two two different sizes and I'm not going to give you the measurements right now because later I'm going to explain how you can adjust the measurements yourself to make the quilt as big or small as you want and to make the blocks as big or small as you want. Uh, the blocks, this is a block. This is how they turn out looking. That's, a, that's one block. And you will put the blocks together. I'll show you the overall like this. You'll put them together and they'll, they'll form like that. So they look really intricate like you have these points here. And if you study it, you're kind of like, how did you do that? How did you get the two squares to sit on each other like that? So we're, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You need two squares. You need a big square and a small square. The small squares, um, I'm using my scraps. And so my small squares are, well, I'll show you this first. My small squares are one and a half inches. They're very small. Um, when I sew other things, I just cut up everything that's left of my scraps right then and, and put it in drawers according to size. I have certain sizes. Uh, we do have a video on how I do that. If you want to go back and look at that, you're welcome to do that. Um, but for this quilt, I wanted to use up all my one and a halfs because I have a ton of them. So um, for my quilt, I'm using the one and a half inch square is the small. And for the big square, it'll be a two and a half inch square. So that's the two squares that make this whole quilt. The two and a half inch square or the big square is gonna be your background fabric. So it's gonna be all the same, same color. So you can see in my block example here, the background is this, this beige yellow color. Whatever you pick for your large squares, keep it consistent because that's what will pull the whole quilt together. But for the small blocks, the, I'm sorry, the small squares, uh, you can do them in any color you want. I'm just doing them randomly with my scraps. So it's going to be very scrappy, but I think it's very pretty quilt. Um, okay, so those are the two sizes you need. Now, let's sew it together. To sew it together, let's start with this one. You're going to sew your little squares, your one and a half inch, in my case, squares, into, p into twos. Okay, now you can chain piece these and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. You're gonna sew those two sets into one to a four patch. Okay, so you're gonna need a bunch of four patches of the small squares. So I'll show you how I chain piece in case you don't know how to do that. Chain piecing is great, especially for quilting because you're sewing things together that are the same over and over and over. So I sew my squares together, quarter inch seam. Okay, and then I stop when I get to the end of that one. And then I pick two other random fabrics here. And I'm gonna sew these together by lifting the pressure foot, setting this right there beside that one, and just going. And it makes a chain. This goes very fast. It's, you can do this while you're watching TV. Um, you can even take your sewing machine with you if you go camping or something and do, do it out there. So anyway. That's how you chain piece, okay? And then I have this handy dandy little cutter thingy 
because I cut my pieces apart. Okay. And then you're going to press those open. And I always press, in this quilt, there's so many seams that you can press whichever way you want. Eventually, it doesn't really matter which way you press. Um, but at first, I like to press to the dark. So I press my seam um, over to the darkest of the blocks. Let's see. So I would take these two, okay, go press them, and then I would sew them together, which would make my four my four patch, which you see on this right here on this board. Okay, this four patch. You're going to make a bunch of those. Then you're going to sew them together in eights. Okay, so you're going to sew two four patches together to get the eight. You're going to sew two eights together, if you can see this, like this, to get the 16 patch. All right. That is the center of our block, the 16 squares. Now, if you cut your small square a bigger size than one and a half, which is what I'm using, then you will get a bigger 16 block, uh, 16 patch square. And that's, that's fine because I'm going to tell you the ratio to get your other square to fit properly. Okay. I'll tell you that at the end. Um, so anyway, you're going to need a 16 and this is going to be the center of every block. So however many blocks you're going to end up wanting, you're going to need the 16 for the center. You're going to need for each block. Okay. This is a block. Remember for each block, you're going to need, let's see, uh, you're going to need one of the centers, which is the 16 patch. And then you're going to need four of the four patches. And that's for each block. So if you wanted blocks, you know, four across and five down to make a quilt, then you would plan accordingly with how many of these two pieces you need. All of this information on the numbers for, for what you need for the blocks and the size differences and how to get what size you want. All that's going to be on the blog post or the website post that we do, uh, the freebie stuff. So you can just click on the link below and go over there and grab that, print it out, and then you have your pattern as well. After we do that, that's all of the small squares um, in, in squares. Okay. Then we're going to take some small squares and put them with the, with the large squares we cut, the background squares, and we're going to make these snowball blocks. Snowball blocks are used in, in quilting a lot, uh, and it's an easy way to make triangles on the edges of your block, on, on your piece, without having to actually sew a triangle. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take two of the small squares, small squares, and you're going to put them one on each corner. Now, I would do one at a time. So you put it on the corner like that. You're going to sew it from this corner to this corner. Now you can draw a line if you like. Um, I have this handy uh, tape stuff I put on my machine and that helps me guide it. I just line it up from the needle to the center red line and I just sew straight. So I'm going to sew from corner to corner on here. Line it up and here we go. Okay. So I have that sewn on there, corner to corner, and then I'm going to turn around to the other corner uh, straight across from it and do the exact same thing this way. Okay. So I'm going to sew this way. So I'm going to sew. That's kind of funny. Here we go. Okay. That's all you do for your snowball blocks. Now you can chain piece these as well. What you would do is take your block and put your take take your big square take your little square put it on there just like we just did sew from corner to corner and then take another one and do the exact same thing but in the opposite corner like this and so you can just chain piece just keep straight keep keep on going um, and then you just cut them all apart and you flip around and do the other side um, so anyway so you end up with a block like this okay now you're going to want to go in here and cut off a quarter of an inch from where you sewed. Uh, you could do that with a rotary cutter. 
and then you're going to press this back and look at that you've got a snowballed block we sew it together we cut it off like so I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up or not but trust me I'm cutting off about a quarter of an inch okay and I'll Okay, so we sewed that on, we press it back like that, and you get these. All right, now the snowballs, you're going to need eight of them for every block that you want to put in your quilt. All right, so we did the, the small squares in the 16 patch and so forth. You're going to need eight of these to go with those. You're going to combine them. You're going to take some of your four patches and put them with your snowballs and you will end up with this. So you can sew your snowballs together like this. You want the colors together and the background together. So you put these right side together like this and you sew your seam and then you'd open that up and you'd sew these on the ends. Now what I do is I sew, sew them like this first so I can chain piece them and then I open these up and then I sew them together. So anyway, you would be sewing, and you can pause this so you can see this picture of this, what it looks like, but this is what your unit is gonna look like, all right? And you're gonna need two of these units per, per block, per your final block, okay? You're gonna sew some more of these without the four patches on the ends, so it's just gonna look like this, all right? And those you're going to sew to the 16 patch. See how I have these on the side? They're just the two snowball blocks sewn together. You're going to sew those to the 16 like that and you'll end up with this unit. All right. And then the final thing is you're going to take your unit from before this one where you sewed the four pieces together, the two four patches and the two snowballs. And you're going to sew those, last one, you're going to sew those onto this center block that you just made in the last step. And you will end up with your block. All right, so you sew here. Now, the key to this is keeping your colors see these points right here on the snowballs keeping those colors that you put together attached in the center to your 16 block uh, your 16 patch like this okay like that so what that does is that then makes pull these off and show you another block so I can put them together so I have my block right my finished block and you take your next block that you've assembled and when you put it like this what's happening here is you have this focal point right with this square going on here and you've got this one they are identical okay and then you've got a secondary one happening over here and over here so I don't know if the camera is going to get that or not but you see how the pieces that you put on this side of the snowball are forming this other unit right here. See if I can hold this and do this like that. You see that? There. So your backgrounds are connecting and it looks like you tried to sew this triangle in here on the points, but you didn't because it was easy. You didn't have to do that part. You just did it as a snowball. But that's what it looks like, and you can see in the in the um, uh, the footage coming up that um, that we've put in of mine in progress. It, it's really cool. So that is it. That is how you make it, and I will have complete details uh, on measurements and stuff. Now, let me tell you briefly about the measurements in case you 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 know can just get them here. Um, you need to take your small square and if you want to do what I'm doing which is the one and a half inch small square 
then the large square is going to be twice, let's see, what did I say? Uh, two times the initial square. So two times the one and a half is three, three inches. And then you're gonna subtract half an inch, all right? So if you wanna do a one and a half, then your big square is going to be two and a half. If you want to do a three inch small square, then your big square is going to be two times three is six, minus a half an inch, that'd be five and a half. So you can make these blocks as big as you want or as small as you want. You just take that initial measurement of the small square, multiply it by two, take away a half an inch, and you've got your, your big square. Okay, so small square, big square is background. Okay, that's it, it's that simple. And I will put all of that information on uh, the website so that you can get the free uh, download there. And I think that's about it. I am so glad you joined me. I hope that you got something out of this. I just thought it would be a great way to share uh, with you guys. Leave me a comment if you can, because I love replying to the comments and talking with you guys. Uh, it helps me know that there's somebody behind the camera to talk to. Um, it's, it's been great. And uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and like if you like the video. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for coming.